this is task H, single cut of a failure. We have given a frame of a door and the wires which are attached uh, to this frame. They are given by the points and wires are straight lines. Uh, the, there are no two, no wires are uh, starting in the same point. There are no wires which uh, start in the corners of the frame and also there are no wires which would have uh, both points on the same side so the wire would be like here for instance. Uh, and the goal is to find the minimum number of cuts which are like straight lines which would uh, disturb all these wires so they would cut all of them. So for instance this line would cut this wire, this wire and this wire but these two would be left out so we would need another one like this to cut uh, all the wires. Uh, and in addition to, f to counting how many such a wires we need, this is also a constructed task, so we actually have to find them. It looks like very nasty geometric task, but actually there is a very beautiful trick, uh, which is hinted even in the uh, task th uh, th uh, name. Uh, so what we can observe is that there are always two wires sufficient to cut all the there are two lines uh, sufficient to cut all the wires and those lines are made out of from diagonal so one line would be like this and this would cut everything which starts on this side and ends on this side and the remainings uh, would be those that are only on these two sides so these two and that would be resolved by the second diagonal. So instead of finding many such uh, lines we see that the task reduces into finding uh, or determining whether the single line would be sufficient. Otherwise, the, we can always use the two diagonals. And in order to find a single or determine whether there is a single line which can cut all the wires, what we can do is we can sort all the, uh, all the uh, points on the perimeter. So by, by the angle, so we use a polar sort. And then we can uh, use two pointers to try to actually find such a line. So we have two pointers which determine the start and the end of uh, the cutting line and we start advancing them. So we advance this one to here and we will count uh, how many lines are ending, uh, have one point between these two um, pointers but the other side is outside. So this way we can advance, advance and count and increase the number of uh, wires and once if the number is uh, n then it means that we have constructed actually the line. What could uh, however happen uh, for instance if the starting pointer is here then uh, if the second pointer first is here and that's still fine because all the lines are just has one uh, point it but once it advances here we have this wire which has both end points in it and so this can't be the single line. So in that case, uh, we have to advance the other pointer uh, to move it so that again, one endpoint is outside and the other endpoint is inside. And then this way we can continue and we either find one single line or uh, we finish and then the answer is the two diagonals. So the implementation of this solution uh, is, can be done in n log n. That's because we need to do the sorting in, um, in pol polar coordinates. Uh, and otherwise the two uh, pointers uh, take linear time. And the only special case which we have to take care of is that in case we have multiple lines like this and we have one pointer here, then if we start advancing and counting, we have really n lines uh, uh, and n points which are inside but this is still not the, the cut point because the both uh, endpoints uh, are on the same line. So we need to still like move it a bit further to get the cutting line.